There's a lot of people out there who have been through pain and they've sold themselves short on their pain. You think that your pain doesn't matter. You think, especially, especially a lot of men, you have a hard time opening up. We are taught to be invulnerable. We're taught to be soldiers. We have to be warriors. We have to keep all of our pain inside, keep our emotions inside, sternness. Play games, be little boys, immaturity, be players, nonsense. That's not the kind of man I want to be. That's not the kind of people I want to see. Right. That's not the kind of men that I want to see in the world. We need to be real. We need to be open. We need to be vulnerable. And we need women who love us for who we are. Emotions, vulnerabilities, insecurities, and all. The real man inside. Not what we can provide. Not what's in our wallet. Not what your job is. Not whether you have a car or your own place. No. Who are you? Who's your character? Do you love? Are you compassionate? Do you cry? I'll tell you, some of the times in my life when I've had the most attention from women, not that that matters, but I will use this as an example. People have opened up to me and really come, is when I'm on the verge of tears. For some reason, because I'm open, my heart's open. I'm being vulnerable, I mean raw. That's when people seem to want my attention. Whenever I'm really pissed off, today I was pissed off, you can tell, I'm already on the edge. I was pissed off today, and suddenly everybody's like smiling at me, saying hi to me. This happens anyway sometimes, I get a lot of attention, I do. The, the, the hotter you burn your light, the more it shines, and everyone, people are attracted to that. Just like people, who, I'm attracted to people who have that, I am. That, that emotion, realness, genuineness, authenticity, but we're afraid of it. Just like the spider. We're afraid of the spider. I don't know where he went. He could be crawling up my ass right now. <laughs> we're afraid of the spider. Because, because real. Why are we even afraid? So that's the point. Why are we afraid of the spider? Because we were taught to be afraid of the spider. There's no reason to fear a spider. They're small. They don't care about you. They're just trying to eat. We were taught to be afraid. Fear is installed and programmed. But that doesn't make it real. The mind virus is put on us, put in us by other people, put in us by our rapists and our tormentors and our assaulters, or just people who are well-meaning but... Maybe not even ill intention. They didn't know any better. They did it by mistake. Generational curses lined up from people who, through unresolved trauma, laid down their burdens to bear upon us. There's no reason to fear the spider. You know why spiders bite people? Because we're afraid of them. You know why dogs attack people? Because those people are harboring something. Some kind of ill intent. Some kind of negativity. Something that needs to be resolved. Something seething inside of them. That the dog feels. Because dogs are empaths. <laughs> animals are all All animals are energetic beings. They're all empaths. Humans are the only people that don't seem to be in touch with our empathic nature. We're the idiots. We're the fools, truly. We think, because we're human beings and we're primates, we think that we are the master race. And we think because we have language that we're smarter than animals are. Animals know almost more than we do half the time. The spider is communicating with me. It may not be using words, but it's feeling me. <laughs> and it's here to teach me. I'm not going to kill that spider. That's, this spider is my guide, my guardian. It's here to teach me something. Here to teach me not to be afraid. We're taught to be afraid. We're taught to be afraid of expressing ourselves. We're taught to be afraid to speak. 
We're taught to be afraid to speak our truth. We're taught to be afraid, whether you're a man or a woman, especially as men, we're taught to hide and repress and bury our emotions. Hell, everyone now, everyone, men, women, it doesn't matter anymore, right? Right? Every, everyone is non-binary, non-gender, and men are women now, and women are men, and you, you can be whatever you want now. It doesn't matter. We're all, this is the point, we're all the same. We're all the same on the inside. We're all this beautiful colors of the rainbow, multicolored rainbows, each one of us. We're unique, differentiated, individual. We have our own pains and traumas, but we all have the same fears. We all have the same pain. We're all taught to be afraid of the same things without just cause. We all have the same emotions, the same experiences. But because this spider looks the way it does, because it has fangs the way it does, because we've been taught that it bites, we fear it. We think that we have to destroy and kill that which we fear, to sacrifice what we fear. People who tell the truth, we hate the truth, so we, we sacrifice the people who try to tell us the truth. Because we don't want to leave our comfort zone. We don't want to leave our box. We fear the truth. So we kill people who tell the truth. We fear spiders. Because we were taught to fear spiders. Because they look different than us. Because we know that they have the power to bite. Just like someone who tells the truth. They can bite us. They can hurt us. The spider could bite me right now. I'm afraid of that. Fine. I don't have to be afraid of it, though. You know what I have to do. Hey, we're not going to bite each other, okay? I'll let you live in peace. You let me live in peace, okay? Okay, we're good now. Communication. We hate that which we fear, so we try to put things in boxes. We put ourselves in boxes and we slap ourselves full of labels and red gauze. Red tape, I mean. We have red eyes because of our trauma, because of our anxieties, lies. But just like this spider on the ground. Wherever he went, wherever she went. creative, divine beings in our own right. Taught to be afraid of being who we really are, what we really are. And these people who came along and tried to steer us the wrong way, maybe they did it intentionally. Maybe they did it just because they had their own pain too. It's really why most people do anything is because they were taught that they just feel their pain, and so they enact their pain on us. They tell us. They project onto us their problems. We can call them narcissists, but really, we all have narcissism within us. We're all mirrors for each other. We're all the same. Projecting pain. Denying pain. Denying trauma. That leaves its roots deep roots leaves the mental scars the energetic scars beaten and bruised afraid. That's when we hear the voices in our head shouting at us who to be, what to do, what rules to follow, what we can and can't say, what emotions we can and cannot express. 
It tries to tell us who and what we are. Our mind, the things we hear, the thoughts we hear. When I say voices, I mean any of the shit that happens in here because it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. All these things you see, all the symbols, all the imagery, the things we fantasize about, things we imagine that never happen, all the things we fear that never happen and never come to pass. It's all a fugazi. It's all bullshit.